guys and welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new hi my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share my swatches and review of the new Cirque Colors Spring Collection or at least I think it is the Spring Collection I'm not quite sure but it is the Vice 2021 Collection by Cirque Colors of course I'm still quite new to the entire brand so I was really excited to swatch these try them out and just to see what we have here because they are more expensive than your regular drugstore polishes which mostly are about two towards five or six euros these were i think about 12.50 a bottle but i'm not quite sure because it's been a little while since i ordered them and actually got them in so i will leave the extra information down below in the description box or i will just mention it a little later in the video once we're getting into these swatches but the Vice 2021 collection is actually really bright. It has six gorgeous colors, like very beautiful, bright, almost like neon even some colors are. I'm obsessed with them. I love bright colors, as you can see <laughs> in my makeup look and usually my clothing as well. I do love a lot of color and yeah, let me just grab the boxes real quick and just show you the colors while in the boxes because I am going to, of course, unbox them and swatch them as well. So here are all six colors. They're really gorgeous. Of course, they come in their regular Cirque colors um, packaging, which is kind of like a light yellow beigey kind of color. But I really love the packaging because there are a lot of like cutouts here and there where you can actually see what kind of color of polish is in here. Um, these bottles all contain 11 milliliters. So that is a pretty decent amount, to be honest. I do feel like, oh yeah, they are vegan, they are cruelty free, and they are actually handmade as well in New York, like Brooklyn, you know, the States, stuff like that. I would love to go back to the States, by the way, if we're all able to travel again, because I've been once to New York and Washington, and I just really want to go back. But that's a whole other side story. <laughs> but yeah, these colors are really gorgeous. So yeah, of course, I am going in like more in depth into these colors while swatching them and such. But first up, we have Narcisse or Narcisse, however you want to pronounce that, which is a very nice lavender kind of color. Then we have like a purpley magenta pink, I'd say, which is called Gossip, which is so stunning as well. Let me just get these out of the way <laughs> because six bottles to hold in one hand is quite a lot so yeah next up we have like a sunny orangey yellow this one is called munchies a really gorgeous then the most bright color from this collection is this one like it is insane i'm quite curious to see when i'm like editing the video that you will see a little later of course like the footage i'm really curious to see how my camera will handle this color because usually Neon colors are a hassle for cameras to actually pick up and to show them like true to color. So I'm going to do my best while editing to share how this color actually looks because it is a highlighter yellow, like a yellowy green. It is so bright. And this one is called Electric Daisy. Then there is another green kind of color in here, which is your basic like spring green i'd say this one is called thirsty and then the sixth and final color is a dark like bluish purple kind of color which matches my makeup and outfit today pretty well i have to say i didn't even plan that <laughs> but yeah this one is called one night stand and it is the darkest color from this collection but yeah let's just stop the rambling and get into the swatches but first if you haven't subscribed yet i would really appreciate it if you would like to do so hit that notification bell as well and become a part of my little nail family here at youtube but for now thank you so much for watching on forehand i love you so so much and as usual i hope to see you in my next video as well. So let's get into the swatches, unboxing and so on and oh my gosh I am so excited to share these swatches because this collection is just screaming my name. As I mentioned in the intro as well I'm just always in love with colors. I love to wear colors not even just in makeup or on my nails but clothing wise as well. I am actually like in my um, like nail room and recording area and such. I actually have lilac-y kind of walls. There's even a pink wall. I just love color. I couldn't live in a world without color, to be honest. 
So yeah, I was pretty excited to see that Sir Colors actually came out with such a cool, colorful collection and that I was able to get my hands on them because I got these at hypnoticbolish.com. I'm not sponsored, by the way. I just really love their web store and they are located here in the Netherlands, which is a big, big plus for my fellow Dutchies, but also my other Europeans because shipping is very doable and for me even free when it comes to my orders at least least. So I did mention in the intro that I thought I got them for 12.50 in euros, but I actually got them for 11.50 in euros. So I actually thought they were a little bit more expensive than they were. Still not super like inexpensive or anything like that, but definitely worth the money in my opinion. But yeah, I have just showed you really quickly all of the boxes with the names and removed the nail polish that I was still wearing on my thumbnail because we are going to swatch on my thumb, which of course still has a little bit of gel base and top coat on there because the tear on my sidewall isn't fully grown out yet. But let's start off with the swatches of the first color. This one is called Narcisse or Narcisse. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. You guys know I am Dutch, like English isn't my mother tongue i do my best to actually speak it um but yeah you know i sometimes make mistakes and if you do know how to pronounce this one in english definitely let me know because i would love to learn how it's actually pronounced in a good way you know but yeah this first color is kind of like a lilac it's yeah I don't know, it's not like super lilac in my opinion. I feel like it's a little bit darker than your regular lilac purple kind of color. But let's just call it a, a lilac color. I just think that's the, the most easy for me to just call it like that. Um, it does dry a little darker than it actually applies on forehand or like when you are just applying it. But yeah, um, opaqueness is nah pretty good it's not super bad of course don't judge a polish by its first coat i do feel like these colors dry up matte or like semi matte and that is something that i have seen a lot when it comes to brighter like almost neon colors this color this narcisse or narcisse color is actually pretty much a pastel neon in my opinion you will see a little later in the video especially when i get to electric daisy that is such a bright neon color and i was actually quite amazed how well my camera picked that one up because i thought it would have been like a hell like a hellhole i don't know i thought my camera would be tripping out but Thanks Sony for making such a good camera. I'm really, really impressed. <laughs> but yeah, this first color here you can see the end result with two coats. I feel like it's pretty decent. I would give it like four out of five stars, to be honest. I love purple colors and I do feel like it is opaque pretty nicely. And it actually applied quite nice as well. I'm not having any difficulties with the application when it comes to the brush or formula or substancy or anything like that. Then let's get on to the second color. This one is called Gossip and I kind of gasped when I applied this one with like the first coat on my nail because it was so opaque and it just applies really nicely. One thing that I will definitely mention uh, when it comes to this polish in particular, but pretty much all of the colors from this collection, please wear a good base coat or maybe even like double up a layer of base coat because these polish are hella pigmented and they will definitely stain your natural nail plate if you don't wear a base coat or at least a decent base coat so definitely make sure to really like level it up with that base coat make sure that is fully dry before going in with your colored polish just to prevent any like staining discoloration and such like that of course having a little bit of like a yellowish hue to your nails is perfectly normal i even feel like my nails have really gotten a lot better they used to be way more yellow like when i started doing youtube and videos on nail art and stuff so yeah my nails are actually pretty discolored or like this this colored if you know what i mean like they're not as like stained anymore as they were because i tend to use a lot of light colors in my day-to-day -day life and i do a lot of bright colors in the weekend so they actually have a lot of time off of the really bright pigmented colors but yeah having a little bit of like 
a yellowish you or stainage to your nails is perfectly fine please don't use harsh chemicals to get those out it just damages and hurts your nails and makes them more weak as well so please just ignore the stains especially if you're wearing beautiful polishes anyway but yeah this gossip color like it's insane it was so opaque with just two coats and it is the perfect magenta kind of pinky color in my opinion then the next color already this one is called munchies and it just made me laugh like the name it just made me think of like young guys in their teens smoking stuff they really shouldn't smoke and just getting the munchies i think I don't know, it just made me think of that 70s show and I don't know if it was just the name or maybe even the color that kind of reminded me of the 70s or something like that. Um, but this is actually a really nice um, orangey yellow, I'd say. I do feel like this is more into the yellow um, like color scheme or color range than it does look like an orange but i don't know i just feel like it's yellow with some orange in it but definitely let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this color do you feel like it is a yellow or do you feel like it's an orange it's quite of like a confusing color if i have to describe it but yeah i didn't have a lot of issues with the application i did feel like it was a little streaky but then again it is quite a bright neonish kind of color and i do feel like with especially with the second layer i had a decent like coverage opaqueness going on i do feel like you really don't want to like overwork these polishes because you might get some like um how do you say that like some some patchiness because of the brush picking up the color off of your nail that you just applied and yeah just make sure that if you're not happy with the second coat let it fully dry and apply a third coat just to prevent any like patchiness from going on because with this second coat i still felt like it wasn't like a hundred percent opaque as you can definitely see because i'm like beaming on my nail with like three big led lights so you can see any imperfection when it comes to my application which is something that i love i tend to be still picky on my videos and my work because i just want to show you guys what these polishes that i always review and talk about are capable of just to make sure that you if you will purchase any of them not only just this collection or colors but any brand whatsoever i just want to make sure that you're happy with your purchase you know i just want to help you out <laughs> because i've been helped out a lot by videos like this that other people made when i was younger and didn't have a lot of like nail polish budget or free budget to spend on polishes so yeah i really hope that this swatch video is helpful to even if it's just one person and otherwise just enjoy the colors because because I am loving the colors and pretty much enjoyed the whole swatcheroo that I did while recording this video. But let's get back to the video because the color I'm already applying the first coat of here is called Electric Daisy. Oh my, is this color my favorite from this bunch? It is so cool. It is the most bright neon highlighter yellow kind of color that i ever had i do have a little bit of like a similar color to this but it's such an old bottle i'm not even sure if i can still use it which was i think yellow polka dot bikini by china glaze if that is the correct name but i've had it for so long i've used it so many times i think it's fully dried out yet or already but yeah that one was really cool but definitely needed a white base and this one doesn't need a white base the only thing is i did overwork the polish a little bit too much to my personal preference as you can see around the cuticle area i had a little bit of patchiness going on but that is nothing a third coat of this color wouldn't fix so yeah if you're like me and you kind of messed it up right here just apply a third coat i just did that off camera i applied a thin very third layer just to make it completely opaque again because this color is so gorgeous i really want to like lack in doing it any justice if you know what i mean it is just oh it's so gorgeous it's my favorite color and even if this bottle of polish was like 20 bucks i would have still gotten it because it's so bright and it's just such a happy uplifting like 
I don't know, it's just such a happy color. But let's get back to the next one, or let's continue to the next color, because this one is actually a green. And you guys know me, green is my least favorite color when it comes to nail polishes. I don't know, I just don't really like greens. I don't know, maybe it has something to do with that, like, my work outfit being completely green and I just don't want to think about work when I'm at home and doing my nails and just relaxing, having me time, having some, like, manicure therapy, how I like to call it as well. I don't know, but this color is actually quite cute. It is just a spring green. It isn't super bright, but it isn't very, like, pastel or muted either. It's just a lovely spring green. Let's just put it to that because... It's not a bad color at all, especially knowing that this is a very light color and quite of like a watery substance as well. I do feel like with the first coat, I really wasn't disappointed, but that second coat definitely made it work for me. Even though I don't like green colors a lot, I am trying to like delve in or dulge into more green colors just to get used to them a little more and maybe even like them every now and then, which is something that I'm pretty amazed by myself that I actually am liking some green colors at the moment. It's crazy, I know, like your taste actually changes when you get older and now I'm turning 31 this fall. I do notice a little bit of like a shift in stuff that I like. But yeah, that's a whole other story. <laughs> but let's get back to this color because this is the sixth and final color from the Vice 2021 collection by Sir Colors already. I love this color. As you could see in my intro part, I love bluish colors like this. I do feel like there's a little bit of like purple going on in this tone as well, but that might depend on the lighting that you're in when you're looking at this polish. It is mostly blue though, in my opinion, just like a beautiful royal blue, I'd say. It is such a rich color. I love it so much. The only thing is, I was a little surprised by the first coat, but of course the second coat will totally fix it, make it more opaque and even and just leveled out. But the first coat was still kind of sheer in my opinion. I really didn't expect that for such a dark color and even being the darkest color in this collection. But other than that, I love this color. I think it's gorgeous. It reminds me of the car that my dad used to have when I was younger. It was such, I don't know, it just gives me like really positive memories and vibes and stuff like that. I don't know, I always have like stuff with colors when I see a specific color. Um, I tend to have like really random memories like combining with that i don't know what that is maybe you have that as well definitely let me know in the comments too if there are some colors that just make you go back into a specific memory or time or anything like that and definitely share some of those memories as well if you feel like a color in this collection is definitely like reminding you of a specific time or event in life i'm always really curious to hear stuff about that because am I the only person who has that? I don't think that's possible to be the only one like that. So definitely let me know. But yeah, these were all of these swatches and the entire review video. Definitely let me know what you think about these colors. I'm just in love with that electric daisy. Oh, it's so beautiful. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so much. Stay safe and healthy. And I hope to see you in my next video.